sigues viva y tu vida sin mí es el crimen perfecto. Hello, good morning everybody. I'm Blas Rivera. Here we are broadcasting from Santa Teresa, New Rio de Janeiro, very close to Corcovado. This is our intention of an English speaking podcast. Its name, Y Nunca Más Volvió, and Never Returned. Today is a very special day. We are celebrating our program number 10. I never thought these musical drops would connect so many people, provoke so different feelings, approaching so many in different places. So I'd like to thank, return and embrace everyone who is enjoying, listening and sharing this adventure. First of all, Ariel, always from Madrid, the best tango singer in the world. That breaking heart voice at the beginning of the podcast saying El Crimen Perfecto. To Miss Illus from Patagonia, who one day let herself be fooled by our very first song and now is an essential painting showing the score to us. And not to mention her sister, Miss Ajus, who filters, corrects, organizes, edits, researches, frames, gives her opinion, erases, and, of course, keeps giving her opinions once again. My dear David Chu, up in the hills, Araras, the best cellist in the galaxy, always correcting a few words in our English version. To Juanito, a nine years old kid, always listening from Rosario, and who is now learning how to write an essay, sending his impressions about the program. Of course, my friend Gary in San Francisco and my dear Lemmy in Washington helping a lot with my poor English. Diego from Denver who, with no premeditation, compared me with Alejandro Dolina, my idol. Hugs to Professor Coppola in Córdoba who introduced me to Garabompo and Scorsese's magic world. To Charlie and Rogelio coming back from the deep past, really excited because they still remembered the day our composition teacher, Master Francisena, gave a title to my first, very first sonata, La Ridicula. I thank all Brazilians that make an effort to understand my Portoño slang. Thanks to Pinita in Rio knowing all my music and stories by heart made it the best chocolate cake in Western history when she just heard Nocturno. To Dr. Chinga, also in Córdoba, that has been criticizing us because he feels this podcast is missing an ending. And he's right, I believe. To Biblioteca Café in Buenos Aires, where we performed our last concert among many books and a beautiful grand piano minutes before the quarantine came up. Maybe that was our last hug with no fear. Thanks to the spider web spreading along the web and gets into the cracks. I must mention all those musicians and poets always present in these encounters. The girl from Belo Horizonte who said, bravo, this podcast look like music and poetry drops. Thank you very much to all recording studios, those sacred caves where the real heroes helped to record these tiny drops all these years. To all who share and spread these tiny musical drops among their fellows, and now, also in English, this program will reach Venus. To Tomasito, who used to be a five years old kid and yesterday called me with a 20 years old voice to tell me he's listening the program and loving the stories. And not to mention Marcela, who makes wonderful chocolate cookies and has already studied El Hijo Negro del Sultán, so we can sing it together back in Argentina. And Alicia, who came back from our very deep past we studied music together and now she's always praising every single four note I play. 
hugs to Turco in Bariloche, Silvia in Cordoba, Patricia in Buenos Aires, and Mariano in Visa Allende, who seduced some radio broadcast with this podcast. And now we're being listening in Bariloche, Cuba, Mendiolaza, Tierra del Fuego, Cordoba, Avellaneda, and some more. Thanks to Roberto and Nora. They are always blowing good feelings from their breakfast in Vizazende. Roberto loves slow and quiet musics. I'm also waiting always for them having my breakfast. And also thanks to Silvina, the first one in writing back to us early in the morning from Neuquén. To those who didn't know me and today think I'm a radio presenter that also plays sax and with a Sudaka accent. Also, my friend Gonzaga appeared from Barcelona. Clapping asks me to make a one-hour program. He's crazy, he's not. But on the other hand, he wrote a beautiful poem inspired in La Ridicula. Well, I feel many silences that also make noise in my heart and I do listen to them. Distracted and indifferent silences, mm, some hurtful silences, polite silences your silence. It is true I do this program from very close to Corcovado. It's almost in my garden and it's also true I can see the ocean from my window as well. But when you listen to me, you also should know I'm recording from within my closet. Yes, a closet in Rio de Janeiro. Great title for a milonga. So this way you won't hear the screams of the fish seller, the macumba drums, my dog's barking, the monkey's shouts, the boring and aggressive sinking of toucans, the firemen's sirens, the sambas up on the favelas, the howls of Tom Tom, the cat hunting birds, the children screaming in their kite battles. So, yes, this is what we have. Okay then, thank you, thank you very much. This podcast's best thing is the echo that will happen after it, its consequences. Today we'll play a very famous and beautiful waltz tango, Flor de Lino. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 